Hi, this is uh, part 8 of loops in csharp.net. In this video, we will discuss uh, how to work with some permit programs. So, initially, I will ask you to write a program to print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For that, I want to write a program. So, how to write the program? For int j is equals to 1, j less than equals to what? 5, j plus plus. So, bracket open, bracket close. Here I want to print console.write. Console.write is used to print the output on the uh, console and place the cursor on the same line. Whereas right line is used to print the output on the console and throw the cursor to the next line. So here let us execute the program. So here it is printing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now my question is I want to write a program to print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times. 2, 3, 4, 5, like this. So, how to write the program? I have to write the same for loop how many times? 5 times. Is it clear? So, here instead of writing the for loop for 5 times, keep this for loop inside another for loop. Did you got my point? So, and rotate that for loop how many times? 5 times. For int i is equals to 1, i less than equals to 5, i plus plus. Here bracket open, bracket close. And uh, see when i is equals to 1, the inner loop will rotate how many times? 5 times. When i is equals to 2, the inner loop will rotate 5 times. 3, 5 times. It means that when i is equals to 1, I want to print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When i is equals to 2, I want to print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When i is equals to 3, when i is equals to 4, when i is equals to 5. And after printing the Inner for loop, I want to throw the cursor to the next line. So here I will write console dot right line off. Is it clear? Let us execute this program and check the output. So this is the program to print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times. I hope you understood, right? So now I have some set of programs like this. I want to print. If you observe clearly in all these programs, if you observe clearly, in uh, first program, this is program number 1. In first program, we are printing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many times? 5 times. Right, this is my second program. In second program, I want to print uh, first time, I want to print all 1s. Second time, I want to print all 2s. Third time, all 3s. Fourth time, all 4s. Fifth time, all 5s. And this is third program. And if you observe clearly, in all the programs, we are uh, rotating the loop 5 times. Is it clear? So, confidently write the loop. Then think about what? Logic. So, here I will write the for loop. For int i is equals to what? 1. So, if I ask you write a program to print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, here you write the inner loop first. For int j is equals to 1, j less than equals to 5, j plus plus. Is it clear? Bracket open. And here you can write bracket close. Now, this is, uh, when you execute this uh, for loop, it will print what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But I want to print 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, how many times? 5 times. So, here you can write something like, and the inner loop will execute 5 times here. Now, I want to execute the inner for loop how many times? 5 times. So, take one more. For int i is equals to 1, y less than equals to 5, i plus plus. Is it clear? So, here you can see. Right, bracket open and here close the bracket. Now, how to print the first program? So, here if you observe clearly, when i is equal to 1, the inner loop will rotate the, what, 5 times. So, in first program, I want to print what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Means here I want to print something like this. Console dot write, console dot write of i, sorry, j. So, here you see, when i is equals to 1, the inner loop will rotate 5 times. So, it will print what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When i is equals to 2, it will print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When i is equals to 3, it will print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I hope you understood. So, in the first program, you have to print console dot write of what you have to print? J. That is your first program. And in the second program, what is my requirement? Right, second program, when i is equal to 1, you have to rotate the inner loop how many times? 5 times. When i is equal to 2, you have to rotate the inner loop how many times? 5 times. 
But when i is equals to 1, I want to print 5 times what? All 1's. So in second program, I want to print i. Means see here. When i is equals to 1, the inner loop will rotate 5 times and it will print what? i. Means i comes of 1. So when i is equals to 2, the inner loop will rotate 5 times and it will print what? 2 5 times. Vice versa. And in the third program. Is it clear? When i is equals to 1, I want to print 2. When i is equals to 2, I want to print 3. And when i is equals to 1, j is how much? 1. So 1 plus 1, I want to print 2. So here, I want to write something like console dot write of i plus j. So when i is equals to 1, j is equals to 1, I want to print what? 2. When i is equals to 1, j is equals to 2, I want to print 1 plus 2, 3. 1 plus 3, 4, vice versa. And program number 4. When i is equals to 1, j is equals to 1, I want to print 0. Means 1 minus 1, 0. Is it clear? And when i is equals to 1, j is equals to 2, I want to print 1. And j minus i. Here you can observe. Console dot write of j minus i. And here program number 5. Here I am printing the multiplication table. 1, 1, 7, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 4, 4, 1, 5, 5. 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 4, 2, 3, 6, 2, 4, 8, 2, 5, 10. So, multiplication. Here, console dot write of i into j. What I want to tell here is, in all the, um, this uh, type of permit programs, I am doing a simple operation. One time I want to print j. Second time I want to print i. Third time I am doing the addition operation, i plus j. Fourth time j minus i. Fifth time multiplication. Here you see if you want to get the output. See here, first program I want to print what? All J's. So I got the output as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Second program, I am not changing the for loops. I just print what? I in the second program. You will get all 1's, all 2's, all 3's, all 4's and all 5's. Third program, I want to perform I plus J. Addition operation. Then you will get what? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. As well, sir. And in fourth program, I want to print j minus i. Here you can see. You will get the output like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And in fifth program, I want to print i into j. Now check the output. Multiplication table 1, 2, 5, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Simple logic. So here for this type of programs, confidently you have to write what? Loops. Then you have to think about what? Logic. I hope you understood. Now my next requirement is, I want to print like this. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right. So, how you can do this one? So, I have to rotate the loop how many times? 5 times. Because, how many rows are there? 5 rows are there. First time. First time when I, first time when i is equals to 1, I want to print 1. When i is equals to 2, I want to print 1, 2. When i is equals to 3, I want to print 1, 2, 3. When i is equals to 4, I want to print 1, 2, 3, 4. When i is equals to 5, I want to print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I have to rotate the loop how many times? 5 times. That is my outer loop. Is it clear? And now, when i is equal to 1, I want to rotate the inner loop how many times? 1 time, because I want to print only one number. When i is equal to 2, I want to rotate the inner loop how many times? 2 times. And the inner loop is depending on what? Outer loop. So, here I will write something like this. For int j is equal to 1, so here if we write j less than equals to 1, let us assume like that if we write j plus plus. So here bracket open, bracket close. So what is the meaning of this? When i is equals to 1, the inner loop will rotate how many times? 1 time. When i is equals to 2 also 1 time, 3 also 2 time, uh, 1 time, 4 also 1 time, 5 also 1 time. But my requirement is not that. When i is equals to 1, the inner loop is must rotate only 1 time. And j is depending on what? i. 
So J less than equals to I. So here I will write something like console dot write console dot write of J plus I want to give some space. And here I will write console dot write line. You have to substitute the values and check so that we'll get some more clarity. Here you see this is I, this is what J. So initial I is how much? One. Right. Uh, now check the condition. One less than equals to five. True. Now again, how the for loop will execute? First, it will check the initialization, then condition, then again initialization. So J is how much? One. One less than equals to one. True. Enter. Print what? One. Is it clear? Now J is how much? Two. Means two less than equals to I. One. False. Come outside. Throw the cursor to what? Next line. Now I plus plus means I is how much? Two. Second time we are editing the loop to print one two. Now again initialization. J is how much? Again J is one. Now check the condition. One less than equals to how much? Two here. Is it clear? So condition is to print what? J. J is how much? One. Now J is how much? Two. Is it clear? Increment J. Two less than equals to two. True. Enter. Print J. J is how much? Two. Is it clear? So here you can see. Now J is how much? Three. Three less than equals to two. Condition is what? False. Come outside. Throw the cursor to next line. Vice versa. You substitute the values and check so that you will get the perfect output. So here let us check the output. So now I want to write a program to print what? Star, two star, three star, four star, five star. So instead of J, same program. Instead of J, you simply print what? Star. As it is a single character, keep it in the single quotes. Press F5. I hope you understood. So here I want to print a program to print 5 star, 4 star, 3 star, 2 star, 1 star. So how it is working? When i is equals to 5, I want to rotate the inner loop 5 times. When i is equals to 4, I want to rotate the loop. So i values decrementing. Initial i is 5 and uh, uh, the number is decrementing. If the number is decrementing, condition is greater than or equals to. When i is equals to 5, I want to rotate the inner loop 5 times. 4 means 4 times. 3 means 3 times. 2 means 2 times. 1 means 1 time. Substitute the values and check the output. In this manner, you can work with pyramid programs. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Have a nice day. Thank you.